of business in terms of property, payday loans, a small, short-term, unsecured loan, regardless of whether repayment of loan is linked to a borrower's payday. So when payday comes, that loan has to be paid. Sometimes it may be by way of garnishing your pay. So the, the person handing you the loan may not have to wait until to pay, might be taken out. Car loan. Customers who wish to buy a car but either lack in finance or is unable to pay, complete money to get one. Remember, loans can be used in various ways. But let's step forward, loan types. You have secured personal loans. So you make a deposit. Then you have unsecured loans. No actual collateral back to these loans. And you see, they carry a higher interest rate. Variable interest loans. They are loans where a borrower does not have to pay fixed interest. Interest rates in this type of loan are subject to change over time. If the rate market rises, your rate of interest rises. Falls, the inverse occurs. And of course, you have to trust your bank sufficiently to be able to take proper advantage of the variable interest loan. Of course, a fixed interest loan, so the entire life of the loan, the interest stays the same. A fixed payment term loan. Such loans are scheduled to be paid off at a certain date. These loans are common with mortgages and student loan debt. Even certain type of business loans, you have that kind of thing. Debt consolidation loan. You have debt in various places, credit card, you're in a car, you have the electricity company, and you can get these loans put into a single package and pay one installment. This happens usually with credit unions. So people actually approach credit unions to help with debt consolidation, places like um, other finance houses. And if you're good with the bank, yes, you can get a debt consolidation loan, especially if your most of your debts are in the bank. Again, we came, come back to the payday loans it carries high interest, a high rate of interest, and is one of the riskiest. A co-signed loan, that's the same as the guarantor loan we saw just now. Pawn shop loan. Customers usually get the loan against electronic jewelry, going to a pawn shop, leaving an item, getting a pawn ticket, leaving, using the cash or something, and within a specific period of time, you pay back for the loan, you get back your item, you have cleared the pawn ticket. Bridge loan, bridge financing. You usually come in for clearing other loans. So, for example, building a, building a house and you got the loan to buy material and then you purchase the material and let's say price of the rest of the material going up, etc., etc. The house is not complete. What you paid for is not let complete. You get a bridging loan. So home loans quickly, a home purchase loan, a home conversion loan. So notice you purchase the house, the home purchase loan, and in the conversion loan, you need to move to a lower rate of interest. Let's say you had a fixed interest loan. You may be able to take a different type of loan or move to another financial house. A home improvement loan, I mean, that's self-explanatory, and a home extension loan, you want to extend and improve your house and therefore also improve the value of the property.
a business loan. We know businesses acquire different sets of loans, different types of loans to individuals. Because depending on the type of business, you have a, a sole proprietorship, you could have a partnership, or you could even have full business LLC, limited liability company. Sole proprietorship, it's like an individual. In fact, it is an individual. And those loans may be a little higher risk. Partnership, less risk, because the bank doesn't have to go to just identify a single person who will be responsible for the loan. And of course, the LLC, the company itself, as a limited liability company, is, is a separate entity and literally will be liable for the loan. And this is not only the responsibility, but it's to the benefit of the company to pay off that loan. So their rating would not only increase, but so will their credibility overall. So SBA, small business loans, well in America, there's a small business administration. They literally assist in guaranteeing your loan. So they could accommodate lower down payments and longer repayment terms. The process is a little more arduous, it's a little more involved, and is literally attached to personal property. A line of credit is usually an unsecured form of advance where the interest is much less, your credibility is a lot higher. That is why there are stringent qualification requirements. Invoice factoring. That allows you to improve the liquidity and run operations without any hiccups. Application approval process is smoother. Business is going on and you need to continue business. Right. Equipment loans, of course, that should be straightforward. You need to upgrade your business. You might be going into another area of business. And of course, you need to finance. That business you may need to get more equipment. You may need to get upgraded equipment. In so doing, you increase your return on your investment over all of the company. You may be able to produce more. You may have gotten a specific contract that is within your line. And so, your income can increase. Microloans. They often act as mentors and provide valuable technological and intellectual know-how to borrowers. So you have a, someone who gives you a loan and to ensure you can pay their loan, they give you additional insights into the area you are into. They give you additional technology to raise your standard in terms of production. We step into an area that is usually a bit closed. Even in one life, 
we have Sharia law compliant account, compliant accounts. Persons who are Muslim, they cannot borrow where interest is concerned, nor can they lend where interest is concerned. So with an Islamic loan, any form of financing made according to Islamic law, which forbids the payment or receipt of interest payments. Most Islamic loans are partnerships, that's how they look, or joint ventures, but are called loans because they accomplish much the same thing as conventional loans. And of course, the source for this information is below. So going further into the Islamic loan, the loan that interest can be charged on. Instead, the loan is structured using discounts, sale or lease, profit participation or repurchase agreement. Interest, I'm uh, sorry, an Islamic loan may be an interest free loan, but often is a more complex transaction. So, Islamic followers work a little more mentally in terms of structuring their business differently. So for example, a bank could buy an asset for cash and then resell it to the borrower for a profit, such that the profit is the same as the bank would have made had it extended the regular loan. I think in Trinidad and Tobago, bank might be left out there. So I know there's a Muslim credit union in Trinidad and Tobago. Other types may involve the lender becoming a partner with the borrower, so that both co-own the asset or business that the loan finances, and the borrower gradually buys the lender's share of ownership with a series of payments. And of course, there are some other words there you can, you can investigate further. And in terms of loans, we get to the money changers. These are the persons who provide loans with interests. And of course, we call them the money changers. They come in various degrees and employ various strategies of usury and usually are confined to an area industry or thief. So you might be lending to homeowners and lending personal loans. You might have another branch of your operation that handles business loans. You may be given small business loans to a specific area that you are into. There's only one type of banker. And notice they have high interest to us because they are part of the reason we pay tax, but they're hardly visible. Sometimes absolutely no visibility. So the ones who are just confined to area, space, and industry, they're easy to identify. We hear the names all the time. But those who are global are almost invisible. So my admonition to you is to research more. Dig deeper and find out how deep the rabbit hole goes. And if there are rabbits in there in the first place, We're approaching the end of my presentation. This was claimed to have been said by Aristotle. The most hated sort of moneymaker and with the greatest reason is usury, which makes a gain out of money itself and not from the natural object of it. 
its objective. For money was intended to be used in exchange. And this term interest, which means the birth of money from money, is applied to the breeding of money because the offspring resembles the parent. Wherefore, of any modes of getting wealth, this is the most unnatural. And curiously enough, Aristotle is said to have existed between 384 BC and 322 BC. Not how long ago this was said and noticed. And the majority of the world still have not gotten the message. As we say in one life, no need to get angry. The real need is to learn the ways of the money changers, how to avoid or proper deal, properly deal with them if you have to. They have created a system and educated themselves on how to keep that system in place. And you are not educated. Don't blame them. Blame yourself. Learn. Make a difference. Show interest in something that affects you directly. Get into your one academy. At this juncture, I hand you back to my able-bodied host, Mr. Clifton Gillipsy. Mr. Gillipsy? Yes, sir. Thank you. Our one academy lecturer our one academy lecture, Kester Bale. That brings me to the next part of our one academy Zoom call. And it, that is our mission for today. Before I hand over the mic to her, let me first introduce her. Our mission of the day is Crystal Wallace Antoine. She is married to Rodney Antoine for four years. She is an entrepreneur and she attended the Morgan English Bay School where she obtained a diploma in massage therapy. She loves and has a passion for spa services. She has been in the spa industry for seven years. She also attended the University of West Indies obtaining another massage certification. She believes education is ongoing and always applying new methods and new ways. Mrs. Crystal Wallace, our mission for today, the mic is yours. Hello. Hi, I'm Crystal Wallace Antoine, and I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm the business owner of Wallace Bliss Cell Massage Therapy. I offer spa services. I offer manicure, pedicures, facial, waxing, and massage. I've been in, um, an ideal shaker merchant since 2018. I have participated in the bazaars. Um, I've had a lot of people come through my business through this, this way, you know, and I've also spent a lot of coins and obtained a lot of things from is the shake-up platform. So far, I would say the platform is, it's the usability of it is working so far because I've been able to patronize and I've had a lot of people come through my business. You know, um, my husband also is part of the business and he's also supporting the system of the business. Right, so that's it. Hi, Crystal. Ivan, here, could you tell us some of your deals and um, what specials that you give to the One Life community? Well, so far, what I have on the platform right now, I have massage, pedicure, facial, waxing, body scrubs. Um, some of them are 50% and some of them are 100% at the moment. All right. And um, which is your biggest seller? Massage, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 100% coin. A lot of people enjoy the massages. 
So would you would you recommend these shaker to anyone else? Yes, I would. I would recommend because you can get a lot of stuff from grocery items, household items, um, services. You could even have we have a doctor also on the platform. So yes, there's a lot of benefits um, for persons on this platform. So I would definitely recommend to any and everyone. Okay, so you're saying that you're benefiting in the both economies and having yes. great success. Yes, I am. I bought a lot of stuff that have benefit me in the system. Okay, and um, so we are seeing some of your deals, of course, online, and mm -hmm. you give part coins, part cash. Yes, I do. Very good value. And um, how 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 does the One Academy help you though, and um, recognizing the need for this e-commerce? Well, with the economy and how everything is happening with the economy. I think this is another um, way that um, we can utilize um, the system. So there's another form of income that we could be getting on the system. So that's another way that we could use the system. All right, okay. I don't know if anyone else have any questions for you, but um, I know Crystal is one of our main um, merchants on this platform in Trinidad and Tobago. And um, she gives a fantastic service. I've been experiencing it myself. Thank you. I, I, just, I could just add that um, I frequent Crystal services. Um, this is Patrice James talking. Um, what I do say is that the uh, atmosphere, the ambience, the, just the, the type of music, the musicals, instrumentals, instrumentals that she plays, it just sets the tone. And um, I believe that when you massage people, you have to be someone that you know deals with personal development and really growing yourself because the energy that you give off um yeah. to the person that you yeah and i must say that crystal has one of the best things um about you that's what i look forward to um, thank you so much for crystal crystal good evening everybody yeah. Okay, okay, go Michelle, go ahead and I'll go after. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I just want to second all what Patricia said, but I love the fact that you just said that you see this as another way of income. What that just mm -hmm. said is what Ivan says, you are in two economies, existing in the present with our regular money, but able to earn another currency in another. To me, that is diversification, and I want to say Dr. Rusha did advertise this, promote it in everywhere in every way possible through our One Academy. So I'm happy to see it's bringing value to not just people who study in the education, but also people who are looking to bring value to their business and their everyday life. So congratulations. And I am due for a massage. <laughs> and, and Crystal said something okay, very, everybody, very important. This is she also mm -hmm. said something very important in that she uses her coins from her business to yes. get from the other platforms. And, and that's tremendous because it's like what was said on Tuesday where your business generates more business for other people. So that's tremendous. And I must yes. say that anyone who comes away from Crystal's service always comes away looking relaxed and smiles. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, this is Brother Noel here. I'd just like to also endorse um, Crystal's services, you know, there's a high level of professionalism when you get there. You always meet that wonderful, infectious smile. I also um, participated by sending my mom and another friend for a massage. And of course, they were truly blessed with the service they got. In fact, I have another uh, massage pending there by Crystal as well. So Crystal, congratulations to you. Thank you for coming on or one academy call today and I encourage anyone to purchase your deals and to visit your uh, clinic to get I mean all your services and products so thank you very much thank you so much guys okay we have it back to Clifton for him to end this call thank you so much Crystal thanks take care okay here I am again closing the call reminding you all not to forget that people do not know what they don't know. So please keep inviting them to our One Academy Zoom call. Since we know the information we get is all about financial education. 
with the entire One Academy staff, I thank you for being on the call with us. See you tomorrow at our Freedom Friday. This call is over and out.